Monica enters the office, greeting her staff along the way. Hello, everyone. Hope you are having a wonderful morning. Hello, Monica. Hi, Monica. Good morning, Monica. Shall we get started? Monica leads the group in a morning, morning meeting about the company's profits. As you can see, we are averaging a fair profit for the third quarter and are expecting to increase those numbers going into the fourth. LaToya, I want you to create a spreadsheet calculating the numbers for the first and second quarters. And Lauren, I want you to create a spreadsheet calculating the cost of goods sold and a database for the merchandise that was sold throughout the previous two quarters. Sure, Monica, I'll get right on that. Of course, I can have it done by the end of the day. Everyone exits the conference room and LaToya encounters Elena. <laughs> hey, Elena. <laughs> Are we still on for lunch? Yeah, I have no meetings today, so uh, same time, same place. Cool, see you then. Monica comes into the office and decides to make her big announcement. Good morning, everyone. As you know, I recently celebrated the birth of my new daughter and I am overjoyed to experience being a mother firsthand. Unfortunately, this has caused me to reevaluate my life decisions. I've decided that I'm going to be a stay-at-home mother so that I can focus more on my family. That's so great that you're going to be a stay-at-home mom. I know we will all miss you, Monica. You are an amazing boss. I'll miss you too. No one will be able to replace you. You were always respectable and had such tenacity every day when we worked with you. You will be missed around the office. No one will be able to live up to your standards. You are so good at controlling the office and the work that they are supposed to be doing on a daily basis. Along with controlling them, you are very effective when it comes to planning, organizing, and directing the actions and tasks that take place in the office and how they will be accomplished. You are an irreplaceable asset to this office and you will be greatly missed. You are a great boss and friend, Elena, and that means a lot to me. Thank you. With that being said, I'm confident that you will be able to find someone that can take my place as a manager. As Monica is walking away, LaToya and Lauren discuss what will happen with Monica's position at the company. I will miss Monica. She had great technical, interpersonal, and conceptual skills. Who do you think will be Monica's replacement? I'm hoping that Elena will finally promote me. I have all the skills that Monica had, plus I know how to do that job and mine, so I am the most qualified person for the job. Not only do I know how to do both jobs, I'm good friends with Elena, so I would think that she would just promote me. She may do that, but what if she decides to bring in someone else? Then I will have to make sure that doesn't happen. Lauren and LaToya walk back to their desk wondering along the rest along with the rest of the office who will be Monica's replacement.